If you're a runner who's been struggling with tightness in the front of your hips, hip flexor tightness that just won't go away, no matter how much stretching, foam rolling, or massaging you do, you might not be doing the right thing. In fact, you might be doing the exact opposite of what you need to do to solve the problem. In this video, I'm gonna show you strengthening drills you can do for your hip flexor. That's right, strengthening drills. It might feel like it's the exact wrong thing to do, when in fact, it's the exact right thing to do. You see, your hip flexor tightness is a symptom, not a cause of the problem. Being able to drive your knee forward, being able to run up hills, being able to increase your speed, relies on having strong hip flexors. And most runners never train them. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you the best strengthening exercises you can do for your hip flexors to finally solve your hip tightness. All right, so the first hip flexor, the muscles that sit here, the first hip flexor strength drill I'm gonna show you, you're gonna need a looped band. You can use a long flat TheraBand or a loop band like this, and you're gonna to wanna to put it around your feet. So once you have that band, around your feet, what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand up as tall as you can and you're gonna make sure you don't have any significant arch in your back. You're gonna pull yourself into a neutral position. Then from there, you're gonna lift or march up one leg up to a 90 degree position. And this strengthens the hip flexor on the lifting leg. Now, some keys here to get this exercise perfect. You wanna make sure that as you lift, you don't lean off to the side, because that's gonna make it so you don't use the right muscle. So you wanna keep your shoulders square over your hips, and you wanna march nice and slow, because you also get some work on your balance. So keep shoulders over hips is the first tip. The second tip is you wanna make sure that when you lift your leg, you don't lift outwards. So you wanna lift straight up, in line with your shoulder. You don't want it to go out to the side. If you go out to the side, you end up working a different type of hip muscle that isn't your hip flexor and your tightness might not go away. So shoulders over hips, don't let the knee go out. The third thing you wanna focus on is you wanna keep your stance leg locked. You don't want it to be bent because then you end up coming into uh, a bent position in your torso and that takes away the value of the exercise because you shorten the hip flexor. So to elongate it, stand up tall and then drive your knee up to a 90 degree position. And for extra credit, bring your opposite arm up in a running position so as you do the drill, you're getting both arm and leg coordinated together. You wanna to do this on both sides, and you wanna get a nice rhythm in the movement. You can increase the tension of the band to make it harder. You can hold a kettlebell to challenge your core. There are many progressions you can do for this, but the key, shoulders over hips, don't let the knee go out. Make sure this leg is locked straight, stance leg is locked straight. And if you want to, hold that position, one, two, to get an even stronger strengthening position. So this is the first drill. Definitely start here when you're looking to solve hip flexor tightness. The next exercise you're gonna do to increase the strength of your hip flexor muscles is to use a longer band like you see around my foot here and attach it to something heavy. Uh, it sounds crazy, but what I have here is just a socket wrench scent and a BOSU ball. You don't have to be at a gym to do this. Just tie it to something static in your house so that it doesn't move. But this is gonna be a functional, a more functional version of the exercise we just did because it's gonna put you in a running specific position which has much more carryover from exercise into running itself. This is how it looks. So, you're gonna start with some tension in the band as you can see here. My leg is in a back position. The band is around my foot. Here you are gonna start with a bent position in the opposite leg. And then you're gonna drive your leg forward as if you were running and driving that knee to take the next step. Come up to the 90 degree position and then come back. Drive through and back. Now the key here in the stance leg, it's gonna start bent, but then you wanna drive your hip forward as you come up. So again, bent knee here. I'm gonna engage my right glute to drive my leg, my stance leg, into a full straight position, quad tight, glute tight, to hold that position, and then back down. 
Same principles from the other drill. When you lift up with the band, you want your leg to come straight forward, not out to the side, and you want your shoulders to stay over your hips, not tilted. You can work up a good rhythm with this one to develop speed. So drive back, drive back. This speed has much greater carryover to running because you're practicing it in the cadence of running itself. So don't be afraid to add some speed with this. You can also hold hand weights and develop some upper extremity strength in the process. The next exercise is a long leg lift in a seated position. So you're gonna tuck one leg up into your chest, pull it nice and tight so your back is upright, then in the down leg, so my right leg, I'm gonna squeeze my thigh muscle and lift my leg slightly up off the ground, hold one, two, bring it down. Keep my back straight, lift the leg, hold one, two, and bring it back down. If you do this drill right, this is gonna burn in the front of your thigh, and you're really gonna use your hip flexor to lift that leg, because it's a long lever, lots of torque. If you wanna do probably six to eight reps here, holding two seconds to get a really good hip flexor strength workout. The final hip flexor strengthening drill you're gonna to do to solve your tight hips is a mountain climber. Here's how it looks. So you're gonna come down onto all fours in a plank position, then you're gonna bring one leg up, knee as close to the elbow as you can get it, and then the other side. Keep repeating, making sure to keep your back flat, abdominal muscles tight, and using your hip flexor to touch knee to elbow. Although it sounds counterintuitive to strengthen your hip flexors when they feel tight, there's plenty of research showing that the reason they get tight is because they lack the strength to handle the mechanics that you use when running, especially when you try to run fast, like your speed workouts on the track. So you're gonna have to trust me on this one that these will help decrease tightness in your hips. If you've been struggling with hip flexor tightness, drop a comment below. Let me know what you've been struggling with and feel free to ask me questions about your specific case and I'll be sure to get back to you. All right, so there are the best drills you can do to strengthen your hip flexor in order to decrease the tightness that you've been experiencing. Hey guys, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to get more of my videos. Thanks so much for watching. Train smarter and perform better.